Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, wanted to, my topic today really is um, Vostok or Vostok uh, watches um, from Russia. Um, maybe you guys can tell me a little bit about them, you know, throw some, you know, in the comment section of this video, put in, you know, what they're all about, if anyone knows. I don't, you know, I've seen some videos people have done on them, you know, Matt Stevens or Simon Crane and you know, I guess Simon's put us through some torture tests and stuff. I think they're super ugly. I, I don't see the um, why people would want one. Um, I guess their timekeeping's not very good either. And, you know, that's all about being a watch, too. You want it to be able to keep time. But um, anyway, a Russian watch, you know, tell me what's good about it. Um, I just, I've seen some of them, you know, the Amphibia or whatever, the different models. And, they're really inexpensive, so yeah, buy one. If you don't like it, throw it away, whatever. But the the dials on them, you know, the, they've got the little the little diver guy on them, and and the bezels look kind of funky, you know. So I don't know. I don't know much about them. So before I really knock them, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Um, also, uh, PC Watch Guy, he had a channel going on for a little while, and then he vanished. Um, I liked watching his his uh, videos. You know, he was a golfer and he was a, a watch watch enthusiast. Um, he just bought a Tudor Black Bay, so I want to make sure you're all right. So hey, uh, shouting out to the PC Watch guy. He's over there in Ireland somewhere. Um, we want to. I'm sure the community wants to know where you are and how you're doing, and and uh, make sure you, you know everything's good. But um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to chime in on that and and uh, also you know Vostik and I've got my Orient uh, Ray on I put a little black um, um, canvas style strap on it which is pretty cool it's not a NATO um, I don't have all my NATOs and leather straps everything's all in 20 millimeter so I need to get some uh, 22 millimeter NATOs and some you know leather straps which I'm gonna buy a couple um, what are the cola reb i think is how you pronounce it i've got some of those in a 20 millimeter leather strap and those are awesome uh made in italy very nice soft i love those very pliable they're not very stiff um wraps right around your hand so they're perfect um and some good natos i need it you know i haven't been a huge fan of natos i did a video a while back on natos and just not a huge fan of them but uh what's a good one out there you know i, I want one that's not a real long strap i hate the long ass strap that hangs and, and you gotta you know um what do you call it bunch it up at the top i don't like that look so but i like the nato strap i mean I don't, I don't mind i just don't like the look of that you have all this extra material there you know so maybe you guys can point me in the right directions on some good ones um my cousin um Aaron, he uh, did a video on Barton straps, rubber straps. I think I'm going to get a couple of those. Those look really cool. They're quick release, um, so they're easy to take on and off. So I'll try one out. They're, they're not expensive, so we'll see how those look and what they're all about. But anyway, just want to chime in on a few things, man. Um, you guys take care. Thank you very much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And... Um, be on the lookout for some new videos and please like. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.